Um, open with me to the book of, uh, it's going to be a short one, Ephesians chapter 4. And uh, let's read, let me start from verse 6. I am tempted to start from verse 1 because of time. Let me start from verse 6. One God. How many gods? Only one God. He manifested in three ways, but he is still one God. Father of all. Is he your father? He is my father. Who is above all? And that particular portion is actually loaded. It's above your problems. It's above your issues. It's above the sickness. It is above the pains. Anything you can imagine in life is above everything. And through all and in all. Through all and in all. I'd like to say very quickly that God is, every, is in every one of us. He is through all. He is in all. And verse 8 said, Wherefore he said, because of this, one God above all. Verse 7 says, but unto every one of us is giving grace. According to the measure of uh, the gift of Christ. Every one of us. You are graced for that thing you are doing. You are graced for that marriage. You are graced for that ministry. You are graced for that business. Unto every one of us, it didn't leave anybody out. So as the bishop is graced, as the pastors are graced, as the ministers are graced, so are you the pew sitter. It's the recognition of this that changes our whole perspective. But unto every one of us is giving grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. You know, in the book of John chapter 1, And uh, verse, verse uh, the Bible says in the book of chapter 1, verse 4, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend it. Now, if you are born again, you are not in darkness any longer. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came from above to, to bear witness unto the light that all men might believe through him. And he was the light, but he was not the light. But he, sent, he was sent to bear the light. To bear witness to who that was the light. That, that was the true light which lighted every every word every man so it's not a few people that are lighted every man is lighted that coming from above now he w went on to say in verse 14 and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory as of the glory as the glory of the only begotten of the father Full of grace and what? And in verse 16, he say, and of his fullness, we have all received 
grace for grace. So let me, let me stop here and tell you that every grace that is on Jesus, if you can appropriate it, comes on you. I don't know whether you understand that. So I, 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 I hate it when Christians become sissy Christians and they are afraid of devil, they are afraid of Satan. He said, of his fullness we have received. If you are born again, you have received of his fullness. Grace for grace. And the psalmist didn't understand this grace. But he understood one thing. You understand that God daily loaded us with blessings. Psalm 68 verse 19. Blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us with benefits. Even the God of our salvation. So as you are listening to me online, as you are listening to me in sanctuary here, I'd like to tell you that you are daily loaded. The blessings of yesterday is not good enough. It's not good for today. The blessings you have for today is not good for tomorrow. Every day has to have a new blessing. Because it is a matter of grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.